Hi, it's Jason again with Martell Electronics. And now that we've released the LC110H Precision Loop Calibrator with Heart, uh, we're going to go into a little bit about what this thing can do. So we're going to power this up, cycle through. Now I've got this connected to my transmitter, as you can see, pressure transmitter. I'm going to go in the menu. And we're going to go milliamp measure with 24 volts. We're going to select that. As you see here, I'm reading 4 milliamps. Transmitter's powered up. And I'm going to hit the menu again. And we're going to go into Heart Communication menu. And we're going to hit Heart Connect. It's polling loop on the device, I can hit the knob again to skip. And right now I have the familiar menu of the heart setup, so I can see device setup data, write LRV, URV, trim set zero, device diagnostics, data log, and config log. And today we're going to focus on data log and config log. So you see the heart beating, I have my heart communications. I'm going to scroll down here with my wheel. Data log, config log. And we're going to do a config log. So what we're doing here is I'm going to select address 2 here. These are the 20 tags I can store. And I'm going to click that and I'm going to save. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to actually just save the configuration from the transmitter into my LC110H. Now I'm going to exit back out. And now I'm going to do a data log. And that's a little bit different. I'm going to click on that and here I can set I'm going to hit start I'm going to do intervals and I'm going to select once every two seconds select that so right now I'm actually data logging if you can see the screen I'm capturing my values elapsed time records used and it's updating 15 16 it's telling me the records free it's telling me the LC110H milliamp and the PV milliamp and uh, that's going to be recording on my unit. So I'm going to let that go a little bit further. 20 seconds. Let's go to 25 seconds there. I'm going to hit exit. Okay, so what I've done is I just stored a configuration and a quick data log what's going on. Now we're going to attempt to um, put this back into milliamp measure. I've got my Limo connection here, my PC. I'm going to connect that on the side. I'm going to turn off my heart resistor real quick. So, I'm going to launch the software and bring it over on the screen here. And this is where we're going to have to zoom in a little bit. So let's do that. Move that over here. And we're going to connect. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the config via my PC. Let's get a little bit tired. So, you see here, let's get it centered on the screen is that I have the file right here PT12 12234 and let's go you can see that on the screen I'm going to set the date time and label 2012 6 7 Time we got two thirty-eight. The seconds we'll call ten. Hit OK. So what I've done is I've just set the time, and you can see right here on the screen everything about the transmitter. So we grab that config, it's telling me the upper range, the limits, um, alarm set, uh, date, serial number. So I have all that right on my screen and I can save that 
as a CSV um, or PDF and I have that so I've just documented that transmitter um, so I'll close this real quick I'm going to hit nothing say no close yeah. so now I can do the same thing with my data log I can upload that and once again there's my date and time the LC 110H milliamp the PV uh, inches of water at 60F what the readings were um, the degrees and degrees C and I have all that right there so I've basically just you know documented the loop what was going on there with my LC 110H so this was a quick tutorial on the beta log heart software and how that works with the LC 110H zoom out a little bit alright thanks for your time